Hi, I'm Matt Eisman. Being a TV host and comedian keeps me pretty busy. Going from one thing to the next, sometimes it feels like all you have is... You're on in five, Matt. Exactly. Fortunately, for managing my moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, I have a treatment schedule that works with my schedule. My doctor and I talked about adding a biologic medicine to my methotrexate to help relieve my RA symptoms. We discussed my overall health, my condition and symptoms, as well as other important considerations like safety, ongoing monitoring, and how the medicines work, as well as how they're given. We decided on a biologic given by infusion. Let me tell you why treatment by infusion was the right choice for me. Then you can talk with your doctor to see if it's right for you. I like that the infusion is given in a doctor's office or at a local infusion center, and that it's given by a doctor or nurse. Depending on the medicine, infusions may be given once a month or less often after any required starter doses and may take as little as 30 minutes. The one my doctor and I chose fits my schedule nicely. The medicine is given through an IV, usually placed in the arm. It gets directly into the bloodstream where it goes to work. The biologics can help relieve symptoms of RA like pain, stiffness, and swelling. And since I know the routine pretty well, let's go over a few things you can do to help prepare for your infusion. If you and your doctor decide that treatment by infusion is right for you. We'll also walk through what you can expect during an infusion. First things first, on the day before your infusion, you should drink plenty of water to help stay hydrated. Also, take a few minutes to confirm your infusion appointment to make sure you arrive on time. And get a good night's sleep so you'll be fully rested. Then, on the day of your infusion, eat a healthy breakfast or lunch. I like salad. Before starting treatment, your doctor will test you for TB and hepatitis B and will monitor you for signs of infection during your treatment. You should not receive an infusion if you have an infection unless your doctor says it's okay. So, where were we? We're ready for you, Matt. Right, an infusion center. When you arrive for your infusion, a nurse will ask you questions about your medical history. Any changes to your overall health or to the medicines you're taking since your last infusion? See, sorry, no. Be sure to read any information you receive about your medicine before every infusion. Then the nurse will check your blood pressure, pulse, and respiration. Check your temperature. And check your weight. For many biologic infusions, your dosage is based on your weight. Same as last time. Nice. Before the infusion, you may be given medicine to prevent or reduce the possibility of an infusion reaction. After your exam, the nurse will use a needle only to start the IV. It's then removed and the IV infusion bag and tubing are connected at the IV site so the medicine can go directly into the bloodstream. Nicely done. It's what I do. Use this time to relax. Read a book, listen to music, or check your email. I like to work on my comedy routine. This is funny. <laughs> no, it's not. Throughout the infusion, a nurse will check in on you several times to make sure everything's fine. How you doing? Everything okay? I'm fine. Great. I'll check back in a bit. Let me know if you need anything sooner. Absolutely. <laughs> no, still not funny. So now that the infusion's finished, the nurse will remove the IV. You may be asked to stay for a while to make sure everything is okay. You should be able to continue with your normal activities as advised by your doctor. If you experience any side effects, call your doctor right away. Good job, Matt. See you next time. I love a good review. There you have it. Talk to your doctor to learn more about biologic medicines for moderate to severe RA given by infusion and find out if one is right for you. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Eisen. How are you guys doing tonight? We are gonna have an awesome show.